This is One Bad Idea, and today we're going to be doing experiments with elemental lithium to explore its chemical properties and how it bonds with other elements. Warning, the following experiment involves highly reactive lithium metal, fire, and toxic gases. If performed, please use a fume hood or go outside and proceed with extreme caution. Lithium metal is a very soft, silvery white metal that reacts very quickly with many things in the air, including nitrogen, oxygen, water, and carbon dioxide, making this black coating that you can see over the lithium. It is used a lot in batteries and is also used in things such as lithium grease for uh, machinery and different ceramic glazes to bring out the color. Alright, now let's get down to the science of it. Okay, for our first reaction we're going to react lithium with water to produce lithium hydroxide. In this reaction we're going to use two atoms of lithium plus two molecules of water to produce two molecules of lithium hydroxide plus the diatomic molecule of hydrogen gas. Now for this you just simply take the lithium metal and place it inside of the water. You can see the hydrogen bubbles and they very quickly ignite because this is so exothermic it ignites the hydrogen. Now you can see it's balled up because the lithium is molten right now on the water surface and there it explodes. Okay this is a close-up and you can see it bubbling very vigorously inside of this jar. Uh, this has a very wide surface area because this is lithium foil, so it reacts very quickly and almost disappears. Now if you boil this water down, you'll get this white powder, which is the lithium hydroxide, as you can see here. Okay, for our next reaction, we're going to react elemental lithium with oxygen to produce lithium oxide. Now for this reaction, we start off with four atoms of lithium plus the diatomic molecule of oxygen to produce two molecules of lithium oxide and a lot of energy. Now for this reaction, you just simply take your lithium and light it on fire. Now it can be very dangerous because it can explode throwing droplets of molten flaming lithium all over. Luckily this time, uh, nothing happened. Now you can see how exothermic this is. This burns white hot, almost like magnesium. And the camera truly doesn't do the justice, but I really could not look at it, and I was lighting up my entire garage um, because of how bright it was. And now it's beginning to die down, and you can see the white crystals of lithium oxide that have just been formed. Now that's cool and all, but let's try it in a pure oxygen environment. Now I must ask that you please do not try this at home. For this, I start it by igniting it in regular atmospheric oxygen, and then placing a uh, container of pure oxygen over it. Now this is very dangerous, so please, once again, don't try this at home. You can see it's very red, which is characteristic of lithium, and it ignited very quickly, and it was very bright. This was significantly brighter than just lighting it in the regular old atmosphere. And it burned much quicker, too, leaving behind the lithium oxide as before. Okay, now we've come to one of the most dangerous experiments of the day. This involves very dense and toxic chlorine gas, which is a very strong oxidizer, and lithium metal, which is very flammable and dangerous when wet. We are going to use two atoms of lithium plus the diatomic molecule of chlorine to produce two molecules of lithium chloride. Now to do this reaction, we're going to simply start by lighting the lithium on fire. And then placing some chlorine over it. <clears throat> now you can see the lithium kind of smoldering in there. And you can see the smoke coming off of it is the lithium chloride. Now lithium chloride used to be a salt substitute. Um, but please do not eat this because it contains many different compounds that are not good for you, such as carbonates, nitrates, oxides, hydroxides, and the metal itself, 
which could explode in your mouth. And now you know three basic chemical reactions involving lithium metal and various other elements and compounds. If you like this video, maybe you like some of our other videos, so please check us out on YouTube.